All right, well, greetings, welcome to Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020, Airships and Paws, Season 2, Episode 5, Retreat to Sandia Lakes. Now, the reason why I say to Sandia Lakes is because on board Airship Hirohito here, and yes, this is Season 2, Episode 5 of Airships and Paws. And the final episode in Season 2 is because I can't really show what goes on at Sandia Lakes, so... Everybody's going to be doing Sandia Lakes activities aboard this airship. And hopefully I'll make it. Hopefully this video can go public. <clears throat> the retreat to Sandia Lakes, that is. So as of right now, I'm not even going to ask if everybody's okay. I trust that you all are. I know you. Okay, everybody checks out. Okay, everyone checks out. So we're at the usual, <clears throat> you're correctly, the usual November Mike 89er. And for the time being, November Mike 89er to Coronado Airport, that's a route that I'm comfortable with. It really is. It's a route that I'm really, really comfortable with from the time being I recorded this video. Flying airships, of course. So I'm likely going to fly that route for a while. Alright, so, put in simple terms, I like to fly from Coronado Airport to Gretchen from, I like to fly from, of course, the Manzano Mountain Airship Depot in Los Lunas to the Coronado Airport in Albuquerque, New Mexico. It also means, <clears throat> Dokuki no Chi, lovely Chi. You got everything okay? Alright. Remember on Airship Hirohito, you're named after Tamagotchi characters. Other airships you're named after something else. Okay, like I'm thinking for if I fly airship von Richthofen, I'm gonna like, name the airship Red. Just like Terence's imaginary friend named Red. From Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends. When Terence created Red. Y'all, you know, this is supposed to be a leisure flight along the way. But back here, we got some of the staff right here where they're going to be filling out logs, things like that. Got it all? I'll ask you again, you got it all? The logs? Yeah. Let's go around here. Okay, since this is a Japanese ship, here's one thing I would mean to show and tell you. I'm really not going to spend a whole lot of time on the ground. Oh, shouldn't. Oh, should I be? Okay. Regardless of type. You still need to prepare. You still have to have a route, as you can see. Alright, look, you still need to have a route. You still. And that's our route. <coughs> from, from Los Lunas to Albuquerque, right here. Here refers to where. Okay, we have the Northern Hemisphere, that's good, because obviously, you know, to go to the, obviously I work in the Northern Hemisphere, so, 
from Los Lunas to Coronado. I say again, Los Lunas to Coronado. That's where we're going. All right, from Manzano Mountain Airship Depot. All right, once again, the unofficial Manzano Mountain Airship Depot. Right here where my cursor is. All the way up here. Short route, huh? Well, you see, the thing about Albuquerque Air National Sunport is that there's planes all over the place, okay? And... Okay. There's a telephone book. Probably the last time you're going to see it for a long time, so... Okay, since this is a German airship, look what we have here. Correction, since this is a Japanese name on a Hindenburg airship, I call this Dane Wacho. Dane Wacho. Oh, whatever, everybody's on board. The other officers, you gotta make sure because I can't. I can't do this all alone, so. You want to call? Alright. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There you are. Let me teach you a little Japanese. When we go in here. Let me take you to the observation deck. And let me teach you a little bit of Japanese. And in this case, it's going to be something else. This flight better go well today. There we go. Up and down. Look. They're always pointing up for up. Uh, down for down. You know how it says how Hawk is up in German? Hawk is east up auf Deutsch. Hawk east up auf Deutsch. Hawk, Hawk is auf auf Deutsch. Watch this. Takai! Chita. Takai! Chita. Takai. Chita. Takai. Chita. Takai. Chita. Takai. Chita. Takai. Chita. Okay, so here's how it goes. Let me do the rest of the pre flighting and, of course, let me check the cabin real quick. Okay. Yeah, I know you're all okay. Yeah, I know you're all okay. You know what to do if someone has anything for me. I'll say again, you know what to do if someone has anything for me. Show and tell, please. Show and tell the logic, please. Thank you. The rest of you, same. Show and tell the logic. Show and tell, or thank you. Show and tell the type of logic you're supposed to be using. I'll say again, show and tell the logic that you are supposed to be using. All right. <coughs> I'm not going to waste time up here, so... so here it goes. Alright, so here's our story about our retreat to Sandia Lakes. On board, we're supposed to have a treasure hunt. So, alright. Canine companions and their retrievers measure, of course, they're wagging their tails in excitement, and of course, we're being briefed about the retreat, emphasizing relaxation, playtime, and bonding. Aboard this airship, at this point, 
unfurl the canine companions banner. So we better pick up the microphone and say that. Unfurl the canine companions banner. Right away, please. Thank you. Roger. Roger. It's imaginary, of course. And of course. Everybody is, of course, in the dining room and lounge. And of course, cozy plush beds and panoramic views. And now let's, of course, let's do this. All right. While we're at it, let's say this. Attention, everyone. Gather your tails and paws, especially using Beyond Logic and eh, whatever anyone has anything for us. Today, we embark on a on a retreat pretty much like like no other. Our trusty airship, the Hirohito, we're aboard, has been awaiting us this whole time. Are the treats and everything loaded? Sure, I just need to tinker with the V on logic. Shall we set the compass to adventurous? Indeed, let's soar to the skies with tails held high. Ladies and gentlemen, furry companions, and of course, cannon companions, handlers, things like that. As usual, welcome aboard Airship Hirohito. Our cruising altitude is pure bliss, though not really high, for this thing's not pressurized. Feel free to explore the bone shaped NLH and everything. And of course, savor as much as, as many flavors as you possibly can. Alright. We better keep our eyes on the horizon. We will approach Chase Your Tail Cloud Formation. It's a rare sight. Or is it? As of this morning. Okay, you're all practicing synchronized whatever. In the lounge. Barking needs improvement. Okay, so at this point. Let's go ahead and get this thing going. I'll say again, let's go ahead and get this thing going. Let's go. Okay, we're on board right now. All right, everybody's all right. Everybody's all right. Let's do this. You gotta keep the ship light as much as you can. Okay, as usual, the car, you know its story. Spoiler alert, I'm not sure who, of course, watches my series a lot. This car is going to go bye-bye. Yeah, for real, this car is going to go bye-bye. Just don't keep these things all the way full. Okay, we're supposed to have a good day at Sandia Lakes. Okay, 
Okay, let's do this. We now fulfill Vion Logic gas cells 8, 10, and 12. They're the only ones who should have a red light. Once again, the only takes with the red light should be gas cells 8, 10, 12. I say again. Gas cells 8, 10, and 12 of Vion Logic. Vion Logic gas. Vion Logic lifting gas, as well as Plotagon Logic lifting gas. And as you probably can see here, number two is already filled. So, right here. Vion, Vion Logic gas cell number two, or Vion Logic, Vion Logic cell number two is already full. We just need to fulfill um, eight. Right, eight, ten, twelve. All right, so now let's, of course, let me assume full control of the aircraft for I'm alone. Easy mode. Prepare for takeoff. Roger, all crew <coughs> station. Ready for takeoff. Ready for takeoff. Let's do it. Mm -hmm. All right, let's do this. Roger. Take off phase begins right away. Release moving. All right, listen up. The cruise phase begins right as the airship is breaking ground. It's immediate all crew on cruise stations. On board this airship, we're going to be doing activities that are typically seen at, of course, Sandia Lakes. Okay, let's give the bus a bus wash. to a status page. I'm going to move to the orders page and now let's do this. And that's all ahead full. At this point. Yeah, all ahead full. First, let's do this. All crew on crew station. All crew on crew station. All right, all head full. All crew on crew station. All crew on crew station. How many said that? Ropes up. At this point, I think that's a yes, they're already up.
Oh, mid valley. Right in there. Right where my cursor is, mid valley. <clears throat> That's the place, of course, where I went for a Young Eagles flight. I got to ride a Cessna 195 business liner. Yeah, I got to ride a Cessna 195 business liner. Right there. And along with that, that's the that's the area. Of course, little what I know is that sometime around 12 hours later, I joined YouTube with my main YouTube channel. Right there. Um, Mid Valley Air Park, that is. It's right where my cursor is. Right where my cursor is. Okay, I'm gonna put the megaphone away. Okay. So at this point, let's monitor the VR logic. All right, the only real VR logic cells that should be full are gas cells. The only real ones, you know, with the red lights are eight, ten, and twelve. Note. I don't bother with gas cell number two because that's already full. That's just how I fly. I say again, that's just how I fly. I leave gas cell number two full with no red light. Everything else has to be a red light. Everything else refers to on slash from my end are gas cells eight, ten, and twelve. All right, and that's VR logic. And so now, since we're in the air, passing Meadow Lake, let's stay and do this. Since I need to focus on flying the ship, I won't go in the passenger areas. All right, at this point, time to begin Sandia Lake's activities aboard this airship. And that's one thing I like. All right, ladies and gentlemen, can and companion. Canyons and freight companions, welcome aboard Air Shapiro Hito. Our cruising altitude right now is pure bliss. Please feel free to explore the bone shaped pool, savor, savor liver flavored mushroom s'mores, and don't miss the Barktail Lounge, <clears throat> where we serve refreshing watermelon slushies with a hint of squirrel essence. The retrievers are practicing synchronized swimming in the lake via the lounge. Bell synchronized barking, however, needs improvement. For we have a lot of dogs named Luna, Bella, Max, and the like Y'all better keep your eyes on the horizon. We're approaching the chaser tail tail formation. It's a rare sight. Alright. As we pass through Meadow Lake and leave the Monzal Mountain Air Ranch behind. Let's say this. Listen up, our intrepid crew. This parchment holds the key to an in-flight treasure hunt. Our mission? To uncover the legendary bone of serendipity. Serendipity. But what's the first clue? It says, where the sun kisses the sky, seek the cloud. As we leave Meadow Lake, everybody scans the horizon. How does Bear not be squinting against the sun? If that's true, leave the windows. So right here, everybody scans the sky. There, silver cloud, let's follow it. It's to the right, but... There's clouds out there. Let's hope and pray that the game creator is following it. Which is on my mind. At this point we better adjust course chasing the elusive cloud. And of course say that this hunts on. Let's have a good Let's have a good leisure at Sandia Lakes. Well, remember, we're productive in our weight as well. So, alright. 
I suppose while I'm at it, um, perhaps it's a prism cloud? Rainbow chase anyone? Focus crew. Next crew awaits. Most likely at Mesa del Sol. If I can get to Mesa del Sol. Alright, so. We're here, we're on our way to Mesa del Sol. Hey, we're not tilting so far. Alright, here's this canyon thing right here, so I better stay aboard. I better stay in the control car for this matter. And I'm technically supposed to be standing up, so, alright. All head full. At this point, probably not a bad idea to start planning for landing, so... Alright, this is what our plan here is. When we get to the Albuquerque Air National Sun Port, I'm going to go outside of the gondola. I'm going to exit the airship. And of course, I want to make sure that we pass UNM Hospital. Though I don't like backs turned, we may just have to do that, okay? That referring to, of course, turn our backs. And usually things don't, of course, go bad at the uh, Albuquerque Air National Sun Port. Anyway. All right, here's our plan here. <clears throat> when we pass Mesa del Sol, I'm going to give the order to prepare for landing. Well, y'all can still continue your activities aboard. It's just that, oh, just like that glider there. This is an airship. It requires a lot of planning, especially in advance, things like that. And we are going to, of course, be landing at Coronado Airport and... Not to mention that I like to use certain places as references to get to Coronado Airport. For this is not an airplane that I'm flying. If this was an airplane, I would have said go straight to Coronado Airport. If only, the, if only that was so the case. And as we approach Mesa del Sol, of course, it's on my mind to click on prepare for landing. Though it's not going to happen right away, I first need to clear the area. The area referring to, of course, wherever it is I'm flying to, along with, you know, I need to clear the airport area first. Of course, when we're halfway through the airport property, I'll give the order to prepare for landing. So as usual, you all better, of course, scan the Albuquerque Sun Port for things and stuff like that. Like, where airplanes move rather erratically, the airship, of course, can report any all each and every defects about the Albuquerque Air National Sunport and things like that. And of course, we can report to Albuquerque Air National Sunport, like if there's any fire at Mesa del Sol, the Netflix studio. There's media production in progress. That's all I can say. it they're referring to there may be a clue this way I wonder what it is while everybody's doing their treasure hunt aboard the airship I'm gonna say this hey y'all you got a clue as we look dead ahead of course we discover some secrets Actually, let's say this. We we'll find something dead ahead of us. It 
in some place. Looks like we're receiving the words at this point. Bravo, Echo, Double Lima, Yankee, Romeo, Uniform, Bravo, Sierra. Maybe it's a location to the belly rub deck. Oh, excuse me. It's so funny. Right. And of course, the belly rub deck is anywhere aboard the ship. Spoiler alert, I chose to exit the ship. And of course, Just while we're at it, some of the canines, of course, discover a secret compartment. Let's say in the lounge somewhere here. Inside lays the golden shaped bone key. This unlocks the treasure chest, but where? The key fits. A tiny lock somewhere aboard the ship. A scroll emerges, linked with ancient paw prints. It says at the heart of Sandia Lakes, dig deep. Well, we won't like, wait long now. The treasure is revealed. At our mock Sandia Lakes, this should have been. Paws digging to the mock sandy shore. One of these dogs named Bella unearths a glittering bone. The bone of serendipity. It's magnificent! Yeah, this is magnificent. Flying over the Netflix studio as well. In Mesa del Sol. Supposedly it grants wishes. What shall we wish for? Be it well. More adventures. Naked skies and endless belly rubs. And so, under the sun-kissed skies, the retrievers celebrate their newfound treasure, a bond stronger than gold. Fun fact, the bone of serendipity now graces the Hirohito's Lounge, radiating luck and wagging tails. Anyway our crew listen up wherever the Mesa del Sol area as of right now. And what the Mesa del Sol area holds a lot of things. Like here's the Netflix studio. Here's an area. Believe it or not, like right here in this park, me, Brennan, and Sonic were the only occupants here during a COVID shutdown when there wasn't much venue. That's the whole reason why, as you can see where my cursor is, I got out of the airship. It's to avoid a collision with that thing. Double Eagle 2 airport's right where my cursor is. And, and this is a route that I'm comfortable with. And of course, this is what leads to Mesa del Sol. Right below us, as usual, it hasn't moved as of now, a drag strip. Any, any, any canines interested in drag racing? Yeah, you're there to provide comfort for those over there. For, of course, these cars tend to get really noisy. Alright, all crew, personnel, things like that. As we approach the Albuquerque Air National Sunport, go ahead, begin inspections. Well, since this is a flight simulator and especially how I fly it, there's hardly any traffic down there, or even pass those passing through. I think they knew we were coming. That's fine. Here's a Prime Air airplane, I guess. 
while we look around. We see that there's a beacon, cargo containers. Note that this airport here I have is add on scenery. Get it off to our left, that has to be UNM Hospital. I'm gonna go and give the signal to prepare for landing. Everything looks fine so far, right below us. It's the terminal that's our issue. I totally spaced out on that. Prepare for landing. Roger, all crew to landing stations. At this point, I trust someone says ready to land. Alright, we gotta have a good time at Sandia Lakes? I think so. Hospital right below us. It's one of the Catering Companions banner. Now we need to turn the airship right at some point. So right when we pass you in a hospital. McKinley Middle School. I'll say again, McKinley Middle School is where we go. If I can get to it, okay. Come on, come on. This thing does take a while to land. I believe we are in the general area of McKinley Middle School. Okay, there it is. There's McKinley Middle School. I'm talking. We found it. 
They're referring to McKinley Middle School. Here's Del Norte High School. Everything goes to full reverse. Okay, we cannot go below 17 kilometers an hour. According to this thing here. Right around here is a Royal Del Oso golf course, and now let's watch the helicopter. Watch the watch, watch the helicopter. We need to look out for Royal Del Oso Golf Course. Okay, at this point I'm going to go ahead and put that down. Here's North Domingo Bucca Park and Multi-Generational Center. There it is. Yeah, referring to Cordado Airport, that is. Order a bus at this point. Either to take us to Sandia Lakes and or actually I order a bus to take us to Sandia Lakes. Right from the airship. Slow ahead. Ah, 007. I'm a James Bond fanatic. 006, that's of course somebody from Goldeneye who turned out to be evil anyway. Albuquerque needs some holy water. Let's give it to them. Okay, the landing scene is right here. At this point, prepare for landing, everyone. Secure two toys and memories. I'm going to say we, we had a positively splendid retreat so far aboard this airship, and we're going to have another one at Sandia Lakes. The leaves are doing a colorful dance. Permission to join? Granted. Let's swirl like maple leaves in the autumn. That begins at the landing phase, of course, <clears throat> when I start to deflate the airship for this flight. I admired your tails. Oh yeah, someone whispers, by the, by the way, Berkeley, I've admired, I've always admired your tails aerodynamic design. Thanks, Bella. Maybe we can catch a squirrel-shaped biscuit sometime. Mm -hmm. We better not blow this. Whatever we're flying here. Yeah, you know, maybe I was right to slow the airship down at 
what's that place? Um, McKinley Middle School. I need to be in here. Here, referring to the control car during the landing phase. At this point, even though it's getting rough, I'll introduce one more thing. I'm now going to say at this point, thank you so much, Red Wing Simulations, for developing this add-on. You've, of course, made my world shine. I always wanted to fly airships as a child, and I'll be 30 within half a month from now. I'll be Big Tree Zero by 4 May. You helped me get some desires fulfilled while I was still young. Which was, of course, fly airships. And I'm... Also, from my end, although everything is fictional and imaginary in this video, I like to use airships to transfer dogs. Especially canine companions' dogs from Point Alpha to Point Bravo, to Point Charlie to Point Zulu, etc. For, of course, I'm one of those guys who likes to be productive in his waiting time. Like transferring canine companions' dogs to go somewhere. Like in this case, it's Sandia Lakes for a retreat. They're productive on board, and they're going to have a productive retreat. Canine Companion still says, Oh, what is that place right down there? There's North Domingo Baca Park, supposedly. We're going slow. Five niner degrees. The ship's quaking. <sighs> Thank you. All that's really need to do is deflate the ship. That's where we're going. Please excuse all my sign my silence because I need to focus on landing the ship. We need to get past the dump first and foremost. In order to land. We need to, pass the, we need to go past the dump. High school. That's what's right outside. Alright, go play in high school. It's outside. And to our right, North Domingo Baca Multi Park Multi Generational Center. Balloon Fiesta Park. This point, idle. I'm getting better at flying the airship. Found what I'm comfortable with. I'm sure this thing can quake all at once. 
right below is Gate of Heaven Cemetery. What's down there? this first. a little bit. over this ditch, first and foremost.
got some free in the middle of Coronado Airport right here. This also raises the question, speaking of Coronado Airport, I'm looking down. I see we have vans and not buses. I can deal with them. What's going on, a bus shortage? Are all the buses being used right now? It's okay to say yes. Just curious. Okay, anyway, outside, right behind the ship, is of course North Domingo Baca Park and Multi Generational Center, La Cueva High School, La Cueva Town Center. Balloon Fiesta Park. There's a Yeah. To the left here, that's yeah. Balloon Fiesta Park. Zero kilometers an hour. I don't even care where the airship is. Yeah, I'm not ready yet. I need to land. Yeah, we're going for a walk this morning, so I better hurry. Okay, so now let's, of course, at this point, we're ready for it. I'm gonna go ahead and deflate this thing beyond logic. Everybody alright? Everybody alright? Everybody ready? Let's go all engines. Right. Okay, you ready? Two. Let me get the orders to drop the noise real quick. Drop the moonings. Roger. Copy. Copy. Grab the ropes.
Come on. Why not? Okay, I'm gonna do a landing check. Flying in airships really difficult. Flying in airships really difficult. Listen up. Expect the airship to kill all of our stuff. I know for a fact I put the gear down. According to the, to the indicator right here. Or is it? some movement on it. <sighs> the descent rate is too slow.
Or during this landing phase. It's not like an airplane. They're flying. We need to do better about that. They're referring to the descent rate. down too slow. We need to land. <sighs> really do. Our rocket land this thing faster. Now I'm sure of it. Y'all better hold on to everything. Monitoring the descent. This will be the last episode of Airships and Paws, season two. That is, I'm thinking also as for airships. Um, I'm thinking either to fly the Red Wing or the Von Richthofen version. I'm doing something else. I'm not sure what. Five thousand four hundred fifty feet. Five thousand four hundred forty feet. It's gonna be bad. This is bad. I suggest you know, about the landing chapter. Skip the chapters, please. Thank you. Hold on. This is where it all ends. The 
gear is down. So. Okay. I guess there goes three, two, one. I guess I'm hogging up a runway here. Three, two, one. Yes, we've landed. Of course it's down. Ship will auto correct itself. Okay, time to go to Sandia Lakes at this point. And before I go, no, well, the airship's not in the air again. I'll say it again. The airship is not in the air again, so let's get out. Sorry to tell you, that's just how it is, I guess, on my end. When I land airships, I tend to keel them over. Chief Stewart, where are you? Let's do it. Okay. All right, open the door. Proceed with onboarding, please. Watcher, starting onboarding. All right. Onboarding finished, sir. Okay, we watched the onboarding from inside. We'll close it now. You're gonna close it. Okay, I trust what happened. Start boarding, please. New case. Roger. Starting boarding. When the boarding is finished, we go. There's supposed to be 50 passengers, so. We didn't take the sextant out because we didn't need it, really. Or did we? Sextant goes away. Boarding finished, sir. Okay, route complete. Book goes away. Alright. We're all done here. The airship will auto correct itself.
everything secure in here. Alright, everything's secure in here as well. Alright. So now let's go outside. Okay, I forgot to close the stairs. What it looked like. Usually these ships correct themselves. I'm not going to put in the logbook that the ship tilted. Or maybe I will actually. Alright, that was a lot of hard work that we did on board. Even during our productive wait time to the retreat at Sandia Lakes. Which I think can end companions and their dogs. And of course their handlers are having fun right there right now as we speak. So right now that is our show. If you like, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. We'll see you all around.